Greetings folks, it's Sarah with Obadiah's. Today I want to talk to you guys about wood stove ashes. How much ash should be in your firebox for insulation purposes? How often do you have to empty your ashes, etc.? This is a question that I get asked all the time on the phone, so I just thought I would go ahead and put a video topic out there. So I'm gonna show you guys the Drolet Bistro, and this stove has only been run for two days. And I have, I'm gonna say, mm, almost an inch of ash in the bottom of the firebox after two days. Now, an inch of ash is actually about what you want in your firebox for insulation purposes because having a little bit of ash in there actually helps to get a little bit longer burn times, okay? So that's something to keep in mind um, when you're cleaning the firebox out or if you clean it out completely, you know, in approximately one to two days, you'll get that inch of ash you know, back in place. Although it really could vary and depending on the type of fuel that you're burning and what you're burning in there. So that ash in two days is from just plain dry wood. I never ever use any paper to start my fires, okay? So um, if you were burning like newspaper or excessive bark, most of my wood pretty much has no bark on it as well. So if you were burning bark, that could leave more ashes as well. So I will show you guys the firebox up close so you can see what it looks like and about how much you wanna leave in place. Actually, maybe I don't even have an inch. Like some places, like this white stuff that's extra fluffy. Um, but yeah, this is about how much ash I have after two days of burning. I am really impressed with the stove. It burned really well. This mark around the door there is from the gasket. Um, when I first lit it up and got into my hot burn, the gasket sealed so tight, it did leave a little bit of a mark there. Um, but that's nice, that's a really good airtight door, as you can see here on the latching mechanism. If you guys find these videos helpful, I really do try and provide you guys with information. I've been doing sales a long time, so I hear a lot of the same questions. I like to just answer them and get the information out there. If you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button in the corner of the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.